Going back to my point from my Palamute video weeks ago, I said that Rise introduced so many new gimmicks and mechanics that it's going to be very interesting as to which of these they'll end up bringing along in the next game. One of the more major gimmicks that was brought up to the table as a major selling point for the game was the Rampage quest type. A rather ambitious monster to take on the tower defense genre that really didn't leave people impressed or begging for more. If the Palamute was a bullseye in getting people to like a new mechanic, then the Rampage gimmick was like if the devs took a shot at the dartboard and flung the dart miles off target. To sum it up, the Rampage quests were a total miss. It served for only a few purposes in the game, and with what little replayability it did have, well, it wasn't enough to win hearts and minds. There are a lot more videos explaining this in detail as to why this quest type just didn't work, so I'll just wrap things up like this. An utter mess in clashing ideas and concepts that didn't really mesh well together, and an uninspired incentive to play this type of quest in the post-game of Rise. But, however, there's always one positive thing to come out of a situation like this, and that thing being is the map that the Rampage is set in. The Red Stronghold. Now, the Red Stronghold functions much like a regular map. It's got separate zones with wooden platforms, you progress through the next area when the threat bursts through the gates or some type of barrier, though instead of a massive dragon, it's these rampaging fuckers. It's pretty much the only map where you do the rampage quest, so it's also where you first get your hands on different installations, like your ballistas, cannons, and bombs. Plus, in a weird sense, this map kind of reminds me of past siege maps from previous games where, instead of freely going around the map, you'd rather progress through the zones to wear down a target, or in this case, targets. Now, as a locale that's supposed to function its tower defense gameplay, it works for the most part. It's not too convoluted, nor is it too simple. It pretty much does its job, and it's pretty linear. It's not too crazy in its design, but it does bring home the fact that it's meant to be this first and last line of defense for Kimura. It's fine as a map, but as we're talking right now, almost a year after the release of Sunbreak, this map has become both irrelevant and forgotten. Not even going over the fact that this location didn't get used once in the DLC. What actual usefulness the Red Stronghold did have quickly vanished even before the announcement of Sunbreak. Firstly, it was essentially the only place where you get to fight Apex Monsters, what was basically the post-game for Rise. And in a way, Apex Monsters were what made the Rampage quest worthwhile. Yeah, you had to go through annoying waves of monsters, but at the end of it, fighting Apexes like some sort of final boss for the Rampage made it unique. Plus, it made Rise Apexes special from 4U Apexes, where these monsters felt like a boss for these mobs of monsters that you had to drive off. So, for a moment, the Red Stronghold felt like the only place where you can actually fight these things, which makes it special. And 2.0 came. You can now fight these special bosses in regular maps, like with the rest of the regular monsters, which makes the Rampages and the Red Stronghold itself trivial. I mean, it would have been interesting if you get to slay these Apexes in the Red Stronghold itself like regular quests, but no, 2.0 pretty much took the one thing that made the map even interesting. But fair enough, at least it was the only place where you get to fight the Ibushi. This Windy Elder Dragon was your big payoff for getting knee deep in playing these Rampages, so it was a pretty good way to spice things up as the last Rampage for you to do story-wise. Ibushi's fight in the Red Stronghold was pretty fun, I loved the fight and the way that this thing moved around the map, plus blasting something like the Ibushi with ballistas or cannons was pretty cool. It really made the Red Stronghold feel like this final stand against the biggest threat to come out of the Rampages. Plus, in that quest, you didn't even get to kill the Elder Dragon. Well, at least I get to fight him again in another quest. And 3.0 came out. You finish off the Ibushi in the Coral Palace. Well, that is another interesting thing that's completely gone for this map. I mean, it could have been something new and interesting to fight and slay the Ibushi in the Red Stronghold like with the Apexes. There could have been some unique spins with regards to that quest too. I mean, you could have the installations to help you a bit, and the Ibushi could have been a lot more difficult to fight. I do remember in previous games where you can repel Elder Dragons, but you do have another opportunity to fight them again. And I reckon this could have been a more suitable idea. Plus, Rise doesn't really have any big siege monsters like the Lao Shanlong. 
So at the very least, we could have had an old school fortress hunt like that in Rise. Well, except less shit and actually fun. To conclude just how far the map itself has fallen to irrelevancy, it's the only one out of the special maps that didn't get utilized in Sunbreak, with those other maps being the previously mentioned Coral Palace and the Infernal Springs. With those two maps being used in regular hunting quests, I feel like this map could have been used in some way or another. Additionally, you could say that the Stronghold was completely forgotten when 3.0 showed up. Once you fought the Apex Zenogo with its respective Rampage quest, you really didn't need to do that quest again. You can fight the Apex Zenogo normally afterwards, and with that comes the final nail in the Red Stronghold being relevant. The Old Mother and the Crimson Glow Valstrax were the far better post-game content compared to the Rampages. Apexes gave their unique materials for Rampage weapons from their own regular quests, and that's been it. The Red Stronghold by the time of this video has become nothing more than a dead map for a dead gimmick. Although it doesn't have to be that way. From where I'm standing, and given the fact that this series does have a habit of bringing back and remastering old maps for newer games, I do sense some potential for this simple locale. It doesn't look too bad, and its simplicity does play to its strengths, like with the earlier mentioned fortress from 1st gen, it does kinda give off those siege fight vibes. Plus, it can also function like an arena map. It already has the installations like with the cannons and the ballistas, so maybe the final area for the stronghold could be used like a special arena locale. Maps that have been brought back like the jungle in Sunbreak or the dunes in 4U do bring their own unique aspects, but still keep some elements from their older versions. And given how special these maps ended up, then there's no denying that the Stronghold could have the potential to be something good. When talking about future games in the series, remaking the Red Stronghold as either a standard map or a siege locale, for a special Elder Dragon fight could be something interesting. It could probably avoid more time and resources needed to create an entirely new map, and remastering and improving the Stronghold will definitely make the map more memorable. Plus, with all those special installations that you get to use in the Rampages, they could sort of come back too. I mean, things like the Machine Cannon or the Wyvern Fire Artillery can come along with the map itself, and they can be available for special occasions like fights with Elder Dragons. Also, when it comes to future games, y you can't really talk about this topic without the chances of old monsters returning. Old monsters like the Shen Garen that hasn't been seen since the days of Freedom Unite. Where I'm going with this is of course all the massive Elder Dragons that have appeared in locales that were sort of related to the Stronghold. Like with the Zora Magnus in the Everstream, or the Gugmazios in the Battle Quarters. Epic hunts like these aren't going away anytime soon for the franchise, so whenever Monster Hunter 6 comes around and if there's a chance that either of these monsters mentioned could return, then a map like the Red Stronghold returning and having a major facelift would be a brilliant move. And plus, in a sense, this decision could kind of be a neat remembrance for the Rampage mechanic. Obviously, the Rampage itself won't probably come back entirely, but in a way, this would be a good method to at least acknowledge the Rampage as something that happened, and not something that should completely be forgotten and buried away. And with that out of the way, what do you guys think about this map? And do you like the Lash and Lung? Because I haven't actually fought that thing yet, nor am I interested from what footage and opinions I've heard. But do leave your thoughts down below, leave a like if you've enjoyed this video, and I shall see you later.